in this presentation we have talk about uh, london equation in the case of uh, meissner effect the value of b equal to 0 inside the superconducting specimen if the temperature is less than the critical temperature and the magnetic field is less than the critical field but london argued that the value of b is not exactly zero but varies exponentially suppose n suffix s be the density of uh, superconducting electrons and uh, vs their velocity the superconducting current density js is given by j suffix s equal to n suffix x e into v suffix s n s electron density superconducting electron density e the charge v s velocity of the super electron and d j s by d t equal to n s e dvs by dt but according to newton second law f is equal to m into d by dt of uh, vs force equal to mass into rate of change of uh, the velocity of the super electron. Here the force acting on the electron is E into capital E which is equal to M into dBs by dt. From this dBs by dt we got a small e capital E by M. This is the rate of change of velocity of the super electron. Consider this is equation 1, this is equation 2. Substitute the value of dVs by dt in equation 2. Then dJs by dt equal to N suffix S into E, E into capital E by M which is equal to n s e square by m e square by m into e this is rate of change of current density put this equation number 3 if E equal to zero, then the value of uh, dJs by dt equal to zero. Then Js equal to constant. The equation three is called first London equation. London equation 1. If E equal to 0, dJs by dt equal to 0. That is rate of change of current density equal to 0. But the current density is a constant. Therefore, Js is a constant. In a normal conductor, the formula for current density Jn equal to Ns is square, not super electron, N suffix N. Here you have to put 
en så fikk se en nærmere kan. En Suffixion. N stands for density of normal electron. N suffixion denotes the density of normal electron. E square, then collision time tau into E divided by M. This is the value of J. But the value of d by dt of Js is N S E square divided by M into E. Whereas in the case of normal conductor, the current density is N suffixion e square tau collision time into e divided by m. If e equal to 0, then the value of jn equal to 0. But in the case of superconductors, even though e equal to 0, the current density js is a constant. Here, if e equal to 0, then the current density in the case of a normal conductor is 0. Now, we have to derive the second London equation. For that, we know that curl E equal to minus dou B by dou T. This is Maxwell field equation. First time varying Maxwell's field equation. Now come to our first London equation, write down it. Djs by dt equal to ns e square by m into e. This is first uh, London equation. London equation 1. Taking curl on both sides. This is d by dt of d by dt of del cross j s equal to n s e square by m into curly. This is equation number four. This is equal to minus n suffixes e square by m into dou b by dot here d by dt of e cross j s then this can be changed as dou by dot e because we have taken it outside dou by dot e it's also dou by dot e say this is equation on integration on integration if you integrate equation 5 this dou by dot t and this dou by dot t go so del cross j s equal to minus n s e square divided by m into b so this is equation 6 here b equal to 0 if j is constant this is our measure effect the equation 6 is called as London equation to second London equation this is London equation 2. Here the value of b equal to 0 if j s is a constant because n s this is density of super electron e charge 
and the mass these are all not equal to zero therefore the only quantity should equal zero is uh, d if j is is a constant automatically the value of b equal to zero you know that uh, b equal to mu not into h mu not into h then the equation 6 is modified in this form minus n s e square mu not divided by m into h this is another one form of london equation 2 this is also london equation 2 second london equation now we have to introduce a new term called skin depth or penetration depth penetration depth that del cross h equal to j plus dd by dt this is maxwell's field equation second time varying field equation here j equal to jn plus js if j equal to js then do d by do t the displacement current equal to zero for curl h equal to js now come to our london equation 2 take the curl on both side equation 7 is subjected for curl del cross it on equation 7 del cross Yes, which is equal to minus mu naught the n suffix s yes, e square divided by m into h. This is equation number eight uh, seven. This is equation number seven. Taking curl on both sides, del cross del cross J S, which is equal to minus mu naught n s e square. Divided by m into del cross h. This we have taken. Call on both sides. This is equation number nine. Now we have to expand this. Rid of dot j s minus del square j s. This expansion of this del cross del cross J S is expanded in this form. This is an third entity, which is equal to minus mu naught n s e square divided by m into 
is of its scholar equal to js now this value equal to zero since js is a constant therefore minus del square js equal to minus mu not ns e square divided by m into js del square js equal to mu not ns e square by m into js this is equation number 10 and this is modified as del square js equal to js by lambda square and lambda square equal to m divided by mu not minus e square Here lambda is called penetration depth, which has the dimension of length, penetration depth or skin depth. Now we have to write the general solution for equation eleven. General solution. of equation 11 is js equal to a into e power x by lambda plus b into e power minus x by lambda this is the general solution but the acceptable solution is b into e power minus x by lambda this is acceptable solution because if you put x equal to lambda then e power 1 that will increase the value of js So this term is discarded. So the acceptable solution is J is equal to b into e power minus x by a lambda. Now we have to find out the value of uh, the constant b. If x equal to zero, then the value of J is equal to J suffix zero. That is surface current density. Put x equal to zero in this equation thirteen. J zero. If x equal to zero, J is equal to J zero. Then B then e power zero. Anything but zero, one. So we can get b equal to zero. If x equal to zero, the value of b equal to j zero because here e power zero, e power zero is one. So b equal to j zero. If x equal to lambda, then J is equal to the value of P is J zero e power minus lambda by lambda, which is equal to J zero e power minus one. Then we can write. J S 
equal to J0 by E. Here the value of x equal to lambda. If x equal to lambda, the current density J is equal to J0 by E. e. Then this condition x equal to lambda is called as penetrating hind depth or skin depth. See that definition for penetrating hind depth. Penetrating hind depth is the distance into the superconductor at which the current value falls to 1 by E of its value at the surface. Here x equal to lambda. The depth of penetration is equal to lambda. That is called as penetrating hind depth. At a particular depth, the current density can be reduced to 1 by E times the value at the surface. That is called as penetration depth. If x equal to lambda, j is equal to j0 by E. j0 is the value of current density at the surface. If you go deeper into the conductor, then the current density is 1 by E times the value at the surface. Read out this definition. Penetration depth is the distance into the superconductor at which the current value falls to 1 by E of its value at the surface. Therefore, the London equation points out two things. One is E equal to 0. We know that the current density J equal to sigma into E. Here E equal to J divided by sigma. Here sigma is a conductivity. Here in the case of superconductor, this value is infinity. Then J by infinity equal to 0. This is the first conclusion arrived from our London equation. The value of E equal to 0. You know that uh, curl E which is equal to minus dou B by dou T. We have proved that E equal to 0. According to London, the value of E equal to 0. Here, curl E equal to 0. That is equal to minus dou B by dou T. That is dou B by dou T. Rate of change of magnetic field equal to 0. Therefore, B not equal to 0. B not equal to 0 but decreases exponentially. We pointed out earlier h equal to h0 e power minus x by lambda. We know that b equal to mu naught into h. So the magnetic field is not equal to 0 but it decreases exponentially. According to Meissner, the value of b is exactly 0. But on the basis of uh, London equation, the value of B not equal to 0, but decreases exponentially. H equal to H0 e power minus x by lambda. Now I'll read out this statement. Uh, according to London, the magnetic field inside the superconductor does not suddenly drop to 0 at the surface of the superconductor, but decays exponentially. This is an interpretation of uh, London equation. London proved that E equal to 0. If E equal to 0, B not equal to 0, but B decreases exponentially. On the basis of Meissner effect, the value of B is exactly 0. Here, B is not exactly 0, but decreases exponentially. By the equation, H equal to H0 e power minus uh, x by lambda. Here, lambda is a... Uh, skin depth or penetration depth. See this. J is equal to B into E power minus X by lambda. Here B is a constant. The constant value is J0. 
that's all about uh, lemonic vision